Hi guys, I hope you're ready for this. Uh, this is the part of the earring that we did on YouTube. So I'm going to pick it up from there. I just attached the two sides. And what we're going to do next is we're going to zigzag to the end here. And I'm doing that. I'm coming out here. So it doesn't really matter where you come out of. But um, yeah, we're gonna, just going to go work our way to the end through the beads. And we need to come out of this um, bead right here because we're going to make it longer. And since I like to work on the right side, if you like to work on the left side, you can also go here or work your way backwards and then you go in here. But I like to work forwards and just kind of keep that craw going the way I was doing that. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start with that with the three seed beads on top of there. Pick up the middle bead, two seat beads, and pick up that side seat bead and the middle seat bead. Go into the next seat bead, pick up two seat beads again pick up that side seat bead and the seat bead that you came out of and here we're going to close it up again on the side moving forward in that one seat bead and the one on the right picking up the seat bead going down and around in the three and then we are on top again and we're going to go all the way around. That's one, two, three, four, and you finish up where you begin, which would be five. Okay, and here you start again with three seat beads. Now we're going to add a total of three cubes. You need two more cubes on top of there, so I suggest you pause me until you get the two cubes done. Now you're here, and we need to move to the side here. So what we do is we're ending here, going to go forward another two, one, two, and then we're going to pick up the side moving forward in that bead on the right side, right there. And then we're going to start with three again. Three. And into that middle seat bead. Now here you need a total of four cubes, so I suggest you pause me until you got your four cubes added here on this side. Now you have this. So now we need to change direction again. And that means we're coming out of this bead and we need to just kind of basically every time go to the inside. So we're going to move over one seat bead right here on the right. I'm going to hold it like this. And you need to add another four cubes. So this is your first one. And then you're going to pick up that middle one again. So I suggest you pause me until you got the four cubes on there. And don't worry, the pattern um, that I made for you guys uh, for the for this uh, necklace is uh, taking it from step one. So basically making this first cube is there also, in case you haven't made the earrings. Um, so that's more um, expanded than what I'm doing right now here on video. But if I would do that too, you know, make the first one, then the video would become way too long. So, closing up my first cube, and I suggest you pause me until you got your four uh, crawls on top of each other. 
now we got this and we need to change directions again and when I look at where I come out it's right there on the right side and basically all I need to do is go to the inside and let's move one seat beat forward and here we're going to start with our three again one pick up that middle seat beat two seat beats pick that up get into the next one two again going around picking up the last one on the side moving one up picking one up and going around in those seat beats again and up this is the top so we're gonna go around one two three four and five and we're back on the right side so we got that first one on there and you need to do a total of eight cubes so this is one and now just pause me until you got all eight of them on there this is what you got now okay and we need to close up but I'm running out of thread here and although I have enough to um, make another cube I don't want to have to add a thread when I'm connecting to the other side because that's going to be even more confusing so what I'm going to do now is add a new thread and I'm going to go this is I came out on the right side here or on the top if you hold it like this and I'm going to go in here and pull that through so that's the uh, they are now basically across from each other so we can tie them up later on easily you gotta keep them out of the way and just go around all the way two times when you add a new thread so this is one and this is the second time and then basically you, well, you're not going to go around all the way but you're gonna come out where you um, stopped with your thread on the other side so your your uh, working your previous working thread is right here this one and this is the one that you started with I'm gonna go in here and we need to change directions but you might want to lay it down so just in case you don't go into the wrong direction we need to go move forward in here and you gotta keep your end tails um, out of the way now to actually see what you're doing so gonna connect right here and we need to move and change direction so that would be in here get the end tails out of the way so they don't get tangled up in the other thread in the working thread so going to add the one cube and when you got that one cube on there then we're going to go connect so two seat beads into the next two seat beads and I don't want to uh, work this thread away into the craw just yet I'm going to wait all the way to the end because we're twisting and turning this piece in so many ways that if you uh, push the thread through the middle of the craw right now it might come out so I don't want to do that because then you're going to see like the thread coming out and you go like hmm where did that come from so it's kind of a bit annoying to have uh, end tails hanging around but nothing you can do about that one two three four and I think that was actually already five um, I'm going to put it down now and because we're on the other side I'm going to turn it around get that end tail out of the way get these end tails out of the way and we're going to connect okay so we're coming out of this bead and we need to go connect to this bead right there so we're going to pick up one seed bead and we're going to pick that one up ok 
carefully. Now I'm going to pick up another seed bead and get these threads out of the way so you might be able to see it a little bit better. Put my finger on that one, hold that over there and then we're going to pick up one seed bead and we're just going to go back into the one that you came out of. So basically it's everything is the same, you're just going to continue your crawl. Okay. Now, I'm going to first do the top because that's easier. So I'm going to move forward two again. Because basically what you would normally do is go in there, but then you have to do the bottom right away. So I'm going to save the bottom to the last. And this way it's a little tighter if I go around. I'm going to move into the top seat bead on the right side, which is right here. And I'm going to pick up one and go into the top bead on the other side right there. And I'm going to go around picking up that um, bottom middle and then the side again. Now we got two sides connected. I'm going to turn it on. The back or the front, or actually there's no front and back. And we're going to move down in that first seat bead right there on the side. And then we're going to pick up another seed bead and pick up that seed bead on the other side. Now we're going to pick up that top seed bead again and that seed bead you started in right there. Now we got three sides connected and that leaves us with the middle part which is pretty difficult to see. But you got to kind of split it open like that and then you move forward into this seed bead and it's easier if you just pick them up because there's one, two, three, four to close it up. One, two, three, four, and it closes it up and you start again in one. So that would be the one on the side right there. Got to do that five times as you do with your normal cube. Then you turn it back around and we're back on the front. And now we need to move over to this side. So we're going to zigzag. First, we're going to go move up right there. And I'm going to get these threads out of the way. Threads out of the way. Over in here, we're going to just top, middle, bottom, middle, trying to get not uh, caught under the threads there, and the top again, and change direction, here we go, one, and we're going to now just stay here, because that's my right side, and we're going to start again with three. One, two, and pick up two more, and that middle one, and pick up two more, into that one. And one more, last one, around, and up, and on the top. One, two, three, four, and five. And when you get that done, you need two more cubes on top of there. So I suggest you pause me until you get the two cubes done. Now we have this and we need to change directions again and I'm right here on the side so I'm going to go move over one and we're going to go to the inside so picking up that one.
and here you're going to add five cubes in total okay so I suggest you pause me until you got the five cubes on we now have this and we need to change direction again so moving in that middle and to that side and we're going to add three cubes on this side and that would be these three cubes that's one two three and after that we're going to change direction and do one and then connect again so just pause me until you got your three cubes on there and then we can continue on again so now we're here and we need to change directions again this is what it looks like like that so picking up the last part need to change directions again need to go on the on the inside one up and start again with three picking up that middle seat bead two picking up the two seat beads moving forward in the side two this side and moving forward this side up one down and around And closing up the top one two three four five okay now when we put that down side that's where my thread is let me see where's my thread on this side so here you got to be careful you can count one two three four seat beads is where that's connected so it's one two three four seat beads that's where it needs to get connected I'm leaving my finger there so that I don't lose the side of that beads I'm picking up one seat bead and I'm going in here and once you get that first one in there then just, um, and you're sure you're on the uh, right level of the cubes there then things get easier okay now picking up another seed bead And I have to go into the bottom one where I came out of. Now this is going to be difficult. The top closing as well as the bottom closing are difficult. So we might as well start with the top closing. You need to move forward into the seat bead on the top. And it's just easier if you just turn it around like that. So you can see where you come out of. And that's that middle seat bead. That also means you gotta find that middle seat bead right here that you need to go into. So picking that up, got it connected here on the bottom, and that means this right here is the seat bead you go into. To the other side, and then you can pick up that seat bead and that seat bead that you went through to the other side again, like that. Go move forward. Actually, you're moving down. And just pull everything tight. And I pick up that seat bead, and then that's that last seat bead right there that you need to connect to. You see, they're kind of across each other, so it should be easy to see, but this is the hardest part of the necklace. Closing that up. Now, I'm going to go around again to tighten that up. There we go. 
and that leaves us with the bottom part of the connecting. Again, here just open it up a little bit. This one, this one, that one and this one. That's all you have to do is close it up. Pick up two and pick up the one back and that's three and that's four and you'll also do five right here like that. Four and five and then that gets you in the bottom of the uh, piece. So what we need to do is move up. I'm just going to move to this side because this is where we're going to do our first um, the first loop for the necklace. So going in and I need to come out here. down and around and down in that middle seat bead. Now I got some black seat beads for this, for the loops. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to just go around and turn it around for a bit, it's easier. Because I've got to go through those seat beats three times. One. Two. And. Okay, now we need to go to the next corner, which is this seed bead right here, this one. So we're going to go zigzag our way to that seed bead. going to go in, and I'm going to push through those three seed beads, zigging to the other side. I'm going to go up and around, so that means this one, this one, this one, back down here, so like that. Got to follow the beaded path, can't get off the beaded path. Okay, I'm going to go down, and I'm picking up three at the same time, it's easier. One, two. and in and give it 5 seat beads to 15 ohm In, which brings us on the bottom, but that's okay. Just follow the beaded path and zigzag to the next corner. That would be this seat bead right here. brings me bottom up. Doesn't matter if you go bottom up or from the top down as long as you get to that seat bead. Five again.
and going around three times. brings us to the side again and we're going to that last corner CP right there zigzagging And it goes from top to bottom. And five seat beats again. Around. second time and a third time and in and it brings us at the bottom again but we're going to go up because we don't want to bump into that corner so we're going to go upwards and then zigzag to that last corner there. Just needs to go all the way around there. I know the threads will be annoying that are uh, not worked away yet, but you really need them uh, later on. So um, to work them away later on when you're completely done with this piece before you put on the uh, dangles. That's what, before we uh, put on the dangles, we're gonna work those threads away. And then we got this one. And work our way up right here to this corner bead. This side first, and then we're going to move over to that side. Uh, this, this is where the chain is going to come. And so, zigzagging on the bottom in this case. It doesn't really matter where you zigzag, as long as you zigzag. the other side I need to get here so I'm gonna go around on the top here and in that side seat beat right there adding another five
and going around three times here too, of course. And now we zigzag to the other side. Trying to keep my threads out of the way. And to make that last loop. Away. Yay! And in! Yay! One, two, three, four, five. times and now we're going to take our working thread and we're going to work it away towards this end tail. See, these are together, so they need, need to be knotted up together later on. But we're going to go meet up with this thread, and let's see what it comes out of. That comes out of... This bead, so what we need to do is to get out of this bead towards that bead or this bead towards that bead. So let's find the beaded path. And we're going to go zigzag towards that. And you know, um, sometimes you can just use the side to change directions and to get wherever you need to be. Pretty easy. So going in there, and then I'm gonna double knot that, I'm gonna go through some of the seed beads to kind of work that a little bit away and then from here on I'm going to pick up one more seat bead and I'm just going to go stick my needle through the inside and make it come up and then I'm going to cut that off and you do the same with the end tail and with these two, you're going to knot these two up and you're going to do the same exact thing with that these two threads also. So it's basically working your threads away. And um, I'm going to uh, finish this up and end part one with uh, the necklace here. I'm going to do part two tomorrow. It's been late. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. So I didn't have all day to work on this, but I will make part two tomorrow, which is much shorter, and uh, that will show the chain and how to um, attach the um, the parts of the dangles here. So, but um, you can already watch the 
PDF file if you want to continue working because this part is just finishing up the video and the necklace. But if you want, if you you already have the PDF file, so you can watch the PDF file and finish it up if you uh, want to continue working on it tonight. But right now here it is about 9:30 and I still have to fit it uh, p.m. and I still have to edit this video and get it up because I promised to have it up by the 15th, so uh, it's got to go up. So part two tomorrow. Okay, I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.